Well, we do love the Euroma Caravan Cup. Do forgive me, I seem to be barking like a dog at the moment with this, uh, with the throat we've got from there. But we've had a lens sit, we're good to go. Here we go, Real Madrid now moving the ball forward against Sporting Lisbon here. Sporting Lisbon think the Yeovil, oof, and but playing a bit like the Yeovil, leaving themselves open, but it's a great save around the post. Here come Madrid now, Benzema gets a good touch on it. Who's got, he's got Modric there. Modric shoots it to goal! 1-0 Real Madrid, a fantastic goal by Modric. Moving forward now, Lisbon left themselves open here in Madrid. They've committed too many numbers forward. Touches it one, touch it two, shoot it's a straight away to the equaliser. It's absolutely wonderful goal. Oh goodness me, look at the second half of Lisbon. So close there, just off the post. Here come Madrid again. They've got an opportunity and another fine save from the Portuguese goalkeeper. Unbelievable. But it's not now Lisbon coming forward. What can they do here? It's good time marking. If they've got a gap from midfield, they have. The old-fashioned Bruno Fernandes unable to do anything and convert there. Ball comes across now. Carlos. Oh, Roberto Carlos from the left-hand side. I don't know if that was the keeper or the post, but it's very close indeed. Look at this now. Lisbon coming forward. Thibaut Courtois in the goal. Can he save this one? He does. Really strong pair of hands there. What a magnificent save. And he's got the penalties. Oh, what a lovely goal that is. So instead of editing this, I'll put it in full-time motion. As you can see, we play the ball just outside the D and it's a lovely finish that one that's per Phil Marsden's suggestions from the Sabuto Alive and Flicking Facebook group but we are however using the same goalkeeper it saves faffing about it saves the hassle another beautiful goal by the way and then uh, but when we go to the semi-finals final if there is a shootout obviously we'll spend a lot more time with cinematography and it's another wonderful finish and we will change the goalkeepers around just for this one though we're playing the game we're getting it done Oh, and it's a wonderful save. Speaking of which, sits it onto the post. Look at this now, Lisbon needs to score. Oh, it's a save again. Look at this now, the score's level in the shootouts. Madrid now, can they convert? Oh, it's another save, it's three on the bounce. This goalkeeper's on fire. They'll probably want to be changing the man between the sticks at this rate to make it fair. Oh, he's saved again. That's four in a row. They're really getting the hang of this now. Oh, he's wide. Good Lord, that's a bad miss. He's taken out of his scenery in the background. Lisbon now with a chance to finish the game, I believe. Takes a shot over the goalkeeper, stands resolute and firm, knocks it away. And it's a lovely finish. Pressure on Lisbon now to convert. And they do, they stay in it now. We keep going. Madrid now, one more opportunity maybe. Sudden death he was so tense, needs to score. Keep the pressure on the Portuguese, he does. Now Lisbon now, can they score, can they finish it? Can they stay in this tie or will it all come crashing down around them? And he comes crashing down off the post. Madrid are through here, what a fantastic bit of goalkeeper. Madrid advanced to the semi-finals, what a shoot. Not much action. Schalke took on Juventus one, in this game. game. It is a fantastic Schalke game that it was. was Juventus, Juventus coming one. at Juventus Schalke took early. All the play for starters. Knocking it's a wonderful the ball play. Around. The Schalke very, very defense well. left begging. Coming really close. And unfortunately, the unable this occasion. The Ronaldo playing in the number nine on, role. One, to get the touch that was required. He had help from assistance. Well blocked out. Keeping a solid line from Schalke. Dybala coming in from deep, Shooting but a fantastic a save, save there. there from Arnautovic. Ball came forward again, Juventus came close one game. more Ronaldo time. Coming from the right hand wing, had a Just shot smashing it over the bar. Blazing it over the crossbar. And eventually, Schalke not quite in the game yet. I do ball believe there's a little highlight there. Ronaldo one. knocking the ball forward. Help again knocked from it him. Knocked it two. Knocked it three. Taking Ronaldo it round. Knocked it across again. Well Kept defended and blocked ball. off. Had Dybala in support. And, and eventually, just a very, very close effort. 
Sharp Sharp came close once, uh, once again in, in, the game in the game from the right on the right wing. wing. A just great save the there side, by the post. goalkeeper Schnezny. But unfortunately, the event is in the end and proved too class and too right good for them. Paolo Dybala managed to touch the ball over the goalkeeper and advance him through to the semi-finals. Napoli here against Bayern Munich from here. It's going to be a volcanic game, this one. So excited to watch this. The Arti Minori, Napoli painted team on the Hasbro's playing against Bayern. Oh, goodness me! Honestly, what a... The, what? It's a goal. There's, there's not much else you can say about that one. Napoli with a free kick, unable to get hold of it, knocks into the Bayern wall. What is the goalkeeper doing? He's, Neuer's had a panic there and he's gone underneath him. That is horrendous goalkeeping. But it's 1 0 Napoli nonetheless. Bayern now coming forward. They've got an opportunity. He knocks it one. Frank Ribery knocks it two. Has he got an opportunity to shoot? It's a goal. Instant reply from the Germans. It's what you want to see. I think we've got a slow motion replay. We do. Pulls the finger back. No, he doesn't actually. He just shunts it forward. Lovely technique, and the goalkeeper's never going to react to that in a million months of Sundays. Look at this, that Napoli coming forward with the ball. Blondi. I don't know any Napoli player name, so we'll go for Blondi up top. Oh, McNoyer knocks it away. Here we come. And uh, here comes Napoli. Napoli centre attacking midfielder. Knocks the ball, finds, wins himself a corner. It was a tight angle. I don't know if he was trying to shoot there. Look at this, oh, Bayern now clearing from the back. Oh, I don't know what's going on here. I'm not entirely 100% sure. I shouldn't edit, I shouldn't put such emphasis on edits. I think it was an advantage trying to play. And he's lost the ball. He opted to play on instead of taking the free kick. But he's lost the ball through his own mistake, which means the advantage was successful. Oh, it's the old shoot. Oh, just past the post. At least no controversy there about potential goals on that one. Bit of argy bargy though in the box. Plays it across now, centre attacking midfielder for Napoli, shoots! Neuer's got a great hand to keep that away. Here come Napoli again though. We've got Brown there in the front of the box. Oh, Blondie's uh, getting stuck in again. Has he got help from the left hand side? We've got left winger. Oh, he's taking the ball off his hands. Well, it's going to be Napoli now, touches it one. Last one, shoots, it's underneath Neuer. What a goal that is. That could be the end of it. What a wonderful goal that is. Napoli, they must be through now. That must be it. Oh, we love to see fired on in that strip, honestly. It's one of my favourites I've ever, ever painted. I think they came off so beautifully and magnificently. But look at this now. Betis there playing with the old, the, the new style Sabutio base that can be sort of reliable, if not a bit strange to play with. But fired on here. Here we go. They seem to have an early opportunity shoot. And he's wibbled his way past that one, unfortunately. And it should be. Easy enough for Betis to clear. And look at this, Betis playing the ball forward. A straight counter attack, that's why I think he'll have to put Clipper in. Goodness me, what a goal! Slotted into the bottom of the net. Absolutely marvellous. One, two, bang, thank you. Ready, I'm looking at this, so Feyenoord coming down the right wing. No, oh, Betis there, trying to hold it off. He's lost the ball to him there. I think he's going to recover that. And the ball's played across fine over the lovely opportunity. Can he wibble past the central defender? He can! That's a great finish from the number nine. Fire note one. Betty's won. The game's back open once again. Betty's coming forward again, though. Look at this. He's leaning back a little bit. Eddie the Eagle up top. What's he going to do? He's so supine that he can't. Oh, that's a lazy attempt, is that one? this really quick reset but Betis is again coming forward in numbers they look really hungry for this one can they join Spanish Giants Madrid in the semi-final I think they've lost out the ball there maybe Feyenoord playing it away from his feet that's a precise one but Betis look at this they're really battling it for the, in, in this uh, in this midfield quadrant knocks it against him knocks it across plays him wide still advancing down the left hand side Camera put in position. Can he knock it across? He's not put it on the inside as much as he'd want to. He's blocked off there. Can he get his boot to it? He can't. And look at this, a little bit of sweeper keeping and it's clear. A very, very hairy moment there, but Betty's are really pushing here. Can they make anything now? They should shoot from there. There's got to be an opportunity. Can he take it on his left foot? He tries to curl it past the keeper. 
it isn't quite get hold of it and goes past the near post. Fire node now. We've had some last minute goals in this game. Is this going to be another one? Or is this one going to penalties? Such as it won. It's the number nine again. Fire node. What can he do? He could put him in the semi finals, is what he can do. It's a great finish. Through on goal. Highlight. is caught out. Fire node through. And welcome to the draw for the UEFA. Oh, well, the Euroma Caravan Cup with a uh, big Christopher and uh, Elf going to work. He's very different this time. So we've got Real Madrid, Juventus, Feyenoord, I can zoom in on these guys, and Napoli all in the draw. Now, we're going to do a bit of a different thing for a bit of giggles. We're going to do it a bit like balls, aren't we, Christopher? Yeah. So, how is... What's the content is balls anyway? Hey, hey, hey. So how it's going to work is, uh, are we flicking the player towards it or are we going to work? Flick the ball first. Oh, are they going to flick the ball? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got to. And then flick the player. Or we're going to flick the ball. And they're flick going to the see ball. They've got to reach. Okay, it. so, Mister, if you kindly, we're going to play it a little bit like a balls tournament. So, Christopher, if you kindly use one, you flick the ball. Shit, flick there. We are, oh, right into the centre. So, okay, whoever gets closest to the ball. Might be able to get you all in one. Yeah, I can get you all in one shot from there. Actually, okay. whoever gets closest to the ball and whoever's furthest away will be drawn together. Yeah, and the two mid teams will be drawn together. So one v four and two v three. What an interesting way of doing this. Yes. So, I'll turn it to Alex then. We shall start then with the uh, Real Madrid. Oh shit! Ah. <laughs> Real Madrid. Oh, you win this, mate. Have a very favourable draw yeah. here. Feyenoord though, when they wibble from the left hand oh. side. Ooh. No. Napoli. Super wibbler. Oh. Napoli are nowhere near. Nowhere near the draw. Nowhere so, near. So I, I say, don't believe that means. You play. They play. You play, you play. And that concludes the draw. The draw. We have Real Madrid against Feyenoord. And an all Italian semi final once again, marking like the Chubby Ons. Yeah. Juventus against Napoli. So, no matter what, we won't get an all one country final again. That. that concludes a rather daft, ridiculous uh, Big Chris's idea draw. Enjoy.